so here i have this question number 4 for our discussion which says a diminished virtual image of a real object can be obtained only in we are given these four options convex mirror yes we know convex mirror always form the virtual erect and diminished image of the object option 2 is plane mirror which is incorrect because plane mirror always forms the image of an object which is virtual and erect and also of the same size Concave mirror cannot be the option. Why? Because concave mirror do form the virtual image, but it is always going to be magnified. Okay. Convex lens also forms the virtual image, but that is also magnified image. So the only mirror that forms the diminished virtual image of the real object is the convex mirror. And hence, this is going to be the correct option for this question. So correct answer for this question is option number one. Now let's proceed towards the next question which says a rectangular glass slab having refractive index root 3 is silvered at one surface as shown in the figure. Light ray will deviate by angle dash when it cross the glass slab. So here we are given this condition. This is a glass slab. We are given the refractive index of glass slab as root 3. If I say this is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction here the refraction is taking place how i am going to find out the deviation see here the deviation is taking place as this particular surface this surface and this surface as well so here if i say this was the direction of the incident ray so this was the direction of the incident ray here this was the direction of the incident ray so basically here this is the deviation that I can mark this as delta 1 here this is the deviation that I can mark this as delta 2 and here this is the deviation that I can mark this as delta 3. So we need to calculate delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3. When we will add them up we will be getting the net deviation that is caused when the light ray travels through this glass slab. Now here we can see that this angle is 30 degree and these two surfaces are parallel this is normal which is parallel to this surface of the glass slab so this r will simply be 30 degree now here at this surface if i use snell's law i can write down sin i is equal to n sin r n1 will be 1 because light ray is traveling from air to glass slab okay so this will be n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r n1 is 1 n2 is root 3 and sin r r is 30 so what is the value of this sin 30 that is 1 by 2 so from here i comes out to be 60 degree because the value of sin i that is sin theta is root 3 by 2 for theta 60 degree so i comes out to be 60 degree so this is 60 what will be delta 1 I have calculated delta 1 will be 60 minus 30 that is 30 degree we have successfully calculated delta 1 now here if I say that this was the direction this is delta 2 I can draw perpendicular here this is 30 so this angle will be 60 okay now if this angle is 60 what is the angle of refraction that is again going to be 60 degree because i and r angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal now here what will be the deviation that will simply be 180 minus twice of angle of incidence so that will be equal to 180 degree minus twice of angle of incidence which means 2 into 60 which is 120 so that comes out to be 60 degree so delta 2 we have calculated as 60 degree moving towards the discussion for the calculation of this delta 3 see here here this angle is 60 degree and here this is perpendicular so this is 60 this is 90 so this will be 30 degree if this is 30 degree this complete angle if you will just again apply here Snell's law that will come out to be how you are going to apply that see here on applying Snell's law at this surface you will be getting n1 sin i 
is equal to n2 sin r. Now here in this case n1 and n2 are interchange. So don't get confused here. n1 is root 3 sin i. Angle of incidence here is 30 degree. So this will be 1 by 2. That will be equal to n2 which is 1 sin r. Again here r comes out to be 60 degree. So here this complete angle. Let me just change the color. So that you can clearly see this. This complete angle is 60 degree. Okay. If this complete angle is 60 degree, this is 30 degree. So how much is going to delta 3? Delta 3 will be 60 minus 30. That will be 30 degree. So this delta 3 comes out to be 30 degree. Let me just mark or put delta 1, delta 2 and delta 3 in the box. So this is 30, 60 and 30. How much is going to be the total? Total is going to be 120 degree. So which option is the correct option? Option number 1. Let me just mark this. Let's put the correct option into the box also. So this is the correct option for this question. I hope this question is also very clear to you. Moving quickly towards the next question. This question is again from the chapter light and this says we are given this figure. This shows a thin convex lens of focal length 20 centimeter with its optical center at 50 centimeter comma zero. So we are given the coordinates of the optical center of this lens and the principal axis along x axis. If coordinates of the point object which are mentioned here then find the coordinate of the image formed by the lens. Okay. So here in this question we need to find out what are going to be the coordinates of image. Okay. See here again this is a pretty simple question but it actually requires your knowledge about calculation of the image distance or the object distance by using lens formula. Most of the student gets confused in this chapter in the mirror and the lens formula. Here the very first thing that you need to know is this is a convex lens. So the focal length will be positive. You need to apply here lens formula. Okay. We are given the coordinates. Now here most of the students I can bet would have stuck here that they would have taken this 20 centimeter to be the object distance which is incorrect. Why it is incorrect? See here object is placed here. So it means first of all this position 20 centimeter is not the object distance. This 5 centimeter is this distance. So basically this 5 centimeter is the height of the object. The coordinate of the optical center in the x axis are 50 centimeter and that of the object is 20 centimeter. So what is going to be u? u will be 30. Okay. So here in this question, if I just write down the solution, u is minus 30 centimeter because we are measuring the distance of the object in the direction opposite to the direction of the incident light. So this will be minus 30 centimeter. F is 20 centimeter. So if I just go by the lens formula that is 1 by F is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U. This will be 1 by 20 is equal to 1 by V plus 1 by 30 because when you will be putting U as minus 30 this will become positive. 1 by V is equal to 1 by 20 minus 1 by 30. 1 by V is equal to 60 is the LCM. In the numerator you will have 3 minus 2. That will be 1 by 60. Okay. So V comes out to be 60 centimeter. It means the image will be formed onto the right of the lens at a distance of 60 centimeter from the lens. Now here you can clearly see that in option 1 they have given you the coordinates, the x coordinate of the image as 60 centimeter and most of the students would have corrected option 1 as the correct option which is incorrect. 
Why? Because the distance that we have calculated for image is the distance of the image from the optical center of this lens. This is not the coordinate. To get the coordinate, you need to add this 50 centimeter to that also, which means the x coordinate of the image is 110, not 60. Out of all these four options, only option 2 has 110 and hence I can clearly mark this option to be the correct option and I won't go for the y coordinate. Why? Because I have successfully calculated the x coordinate and that is correct only in the four options. So, I will save my time. I will not go for the calculation for the y coordinates. If there would have been another option which includes the x coordinates to be 110, then we would have proceed in the question and we would have calculated the y coordinate as well. How we can do so? By using the formula for the magnification. Okay, There is no need to go for that. So, I can put this into the box that this is the correct option for this question. I hope this is also very clear to you. Let's proceed towards the discussion for the next question.